Hello, good morning, student. Today in this video, we will see another article on under unit number three. So far in unit number three, we have seen the introduction to the basic communication, one-to-all broadcast and all-to-one reduction. Then we have seen many examples of broadcast and reduction, such as matrix vector multiplication. We also discussed the broadcast and reduction on mesh. In last video, we discussed the broadcast and reduction on hypercube. Okay, this is the slide of broadcast and reduction on hypercube. Okay, this one is for broadcast and reduction for mesh. Today, we will see one more example that is broadcast and reduction on balance tree. So, the hypercube algorithm for one to all broadcast maps naturally onto balance tree in which each leaf is processing node and intermediate node serve only as switching node. As shown in this figure, see here, as shown in this figure, uh, there are eight nodes. So in this figure, the communicating nodes have the same label as in hypercube algorithm. As shown in this figure, there are eight nodes and if you compare this figure with hypercube, there are also eight nodes. This figure shows that there is no conjunction on any communication link at any time. The difference between communication on hypercube and tree is shown here. Is that there are different number of switching nodes along different path of tree. So this is the broadcast and reduction algorithm for bi balanced binary tree. Consider the binary tree in which processors are logically at leaves and internal nodes are routing nodes. Assume that source processor is the root of this tree. In the first step, the source sends the data to the right child. Assuming the source is also the left child, the problem has now been decomposed into two problems with half the number of processor so as shown here okay so one to all broadcast on eight node three okay so uh, there are some algorithms of broadcast and reduction okay that is called as broadcast and reduction algorithm so if you see the uh, broadcast and reduction on mesh as well as hypercube and balance tree this reveals that the basic communication pattern for one to all broadcast is identical on all the four interconnection network which are shown in the earlier slides we now describe procedure to implement the broadcast and reduction operation so that's why the algorithms are there for this uh, detailed implementation of broadcast and reduction operation for the sake of simplicity, the algorithms are described here in the context of hypercube and assume that number of communicating processes is the power of two. However, the, they apply on any network topology and can easily extend it to work for any number of processes. Now here, the algorithm this algorithm shows the one to all broadcast procedure on 2D node network when node zero is the source of the broadcast. Okay. The procedure is executed at all the nodes. At any node, the value of my ID is the label of that node. Let X be the message to be broadcast, which initially resides at source node zero. The procedure performs decommunication steps, one along each dimensions of hypothetical hypercube. As shown here in this algorithm, communication proceeds from highest to lowest dimension, although the order in which the dimensions are chosen does not matter. The loop counter I indicates the current dimension of hypercube in which communication is taking place. Only the nodes with zero in ith 
least significant bit of their label participate in communication along dimension i. For instance, on the three-dimensional hypercube, as shown here in the hypercube figure, i is equal to two in the first time step. Therefore, only nodes zero and four communicate since their two least significant bits are zero. In the next step, when i is equal to one, all nodes that is zero, two, four, and six with zero in their least significant bits participate in communication. The procedure terminates after the communication has taken place along all dimensions. So this is the uh, algorithm for broadcast and reduction. This works on a hypercube, okay? So all the algorithm described above are adaptions of the same algorithmic template. So we illustrate the algorithm for hypercube, but the algorithm has been, can be adapted for other architectures. The hypercube has 2D nodes and my ID is the label of the node. X is the message to be broadcast, which is initially resides at source node zero. So here the algorithm starts for this broadcast and reduction. Now here in this algorithm, the variable mass helps determine which node communicate in a particular iteration of the loop. The variable mass has D equal to log P bits, all of which are initially set to one as shown in line number three. At the beginning of each iteration, the most significant non-zero bit of mass is raised to zero as shown in line number five. Line number six determines which nodes communicate in current iteration of outer loop. For instance, the hypercube as shown in the figure of hypercube <coughs> architecture mask initially set to 111 and it will be 011 during the iteration corresponding to i is equal to 2 and the and operation on line number 6 select only those nodes that have zero in their ith least significant bit so along the nodes selected for communication along dimension i the nodes with zero at bit position zero send the data and the nodes with one bit at bit position i received it. The test to determine the sending and receiving nodes is performed on line number seven. For example, as shown in that figure of hypercube, node zero with zero 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 is the sender and node four one zero zero is the receiver in the iteration correspond to i is equal to two. Similarly, for i is equal to 1, node 0 and node 4 are senders, while node 2 and node 6 are receiver. That is explained in the hypercube figure. Okay. This algorithm works if node 0 is the source of the broadcast. For an arbitrary source, we must relabel the nodes of hypothetical hypercube by XORing the label of each node with label of source node before we apply this procedure okay as modified one to all broadcast procedure that works for any value of the source between 0 and t minus 1 is shown in the next algorithm so in this algorithm it is shown that the procedure that works for any value of source between 0 and t minus 1 so by performing the xor operation at line number 3 okay uh, Algorithm 4.2, algorithm 4.2 will, uh, will work for the same broadcast and reduction operation for hypercube, okay? So this is what's shown in this uh, algorithm of broadcast and reduction algorithm for hypercube, okay? Now, after this uh, broadcast and reduction algorithm, one more article is there that is cost analysis. So analyzing the cost of one to all broadcast and all to one reduction is fairly straightforward. Assume that P process participate in operation and the data to be broadcast or reduced contain M words. The broadcast or reduction procedure involves log P point to point simple message transfer. 
each at the time cost of ts plus twm therefore the total time taken by the procedure is t is equal to ts plus twm log p as shown in this formula okay so this is the end of this article where we discuss the broadcast and reduction algorithm as well we discuss the broadcast and reduction for balanced binary tree and this last article cost analysis okay thank you very much